So inside of this old trash picked Weber kettle grill, something awesome is going to happen. I've got two pots that are loaded into here, lit a fire, and basically I'm just driving smoke right into the body. So the smoke will actually decorate the pots with random designs. It's a very cool way to work on pottery like this. Okay, so it's night time. It's the right time. I'm gonna unearth some pots here. Might not be able to see too much, but got my nice high temp gloves on here. And we're gonna go take a look at this inside in a couple minutes. Still got some sparks going in here. And I'm going to take a look at this guy in a minute. See how these turned out. All right. See you inside. All right. Some hot pots coming through. Haven't even had a chance to look at them yet. Cool them down a little bit. That's not too bad. Got to wash all this ash out of here. Pots are still a little bit warm. Not cool, man. Some the steam coming out of there. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, what we'll do now is let that start to cool off, and then a little bit later, ooh, baby, a little bit later, we'll put uh, a coat of floor wax on there. See how it looks. I'll bring the other one in in a minute. All right, here comes number two. I dig doing these because you never know what you're gonna get. You know, I like doing some things with glaze, but I I like doing these crazy types of of decorating because. You never know what's going to happen. High temp gloves on. Good. Got some dark marks on these. Because I, I used fine sawdust. Ooh. Which means it will be a little darker, a little blacker. dry off for about a half hour. Let these dry off for about a half hour and then I'll put a little bit of floor wax on them. You might be able to hear it's actually kind of squeaking because the clay is absorbing the water and because it's hot it's pretty cool all right let's check them out a little bit later all right so we're gonna polish these pots off no pun intended i guess <laughs> this is just a little bit of uh some floor wax and this is gonna bring out little subtle variations in the colors and it's going to give it a nice protective coat, give it a nice little shine. So I'll just show you for a couple minutes this, and then it'll be interesting to see how these guys always turn out. They always look a little different 
after you get done waxing them. So uh, at first I didn't want to wax them. And I kept reading about how people wax these pots, you know. And then I decided to get brave and try it. And it really does help some of the subtle colors come out. So, you know, after I finish these up, I'll let them dry and then we'll have our finished smoke-fired pottery. So, just going to bust this little coat of wax on here. And it'll be done. And I'll have another one to do and then we'll just take a few finished shots in half an hour or so and see how they look. Doesn't take that long. Just gotta work kinda quick, kinda even. All right, we'll come back in a little while. I have a couple finished pots here. All right, let me get the other one. That's cool, thanks. Alright, so here's number two. I haven't done any of these smoke fired pots in a while, and I've done about 12 of them in the last couple of weeks, and it's just been real exciting to get back into doing a type of art that I like to do, and not everybody else does. Nice browns coming here. Probably have my tongue hanging out because I'm like one of those <laughs> dogs that when he concentrates, his tongue dangles out of his mouth. Or my mouth hangs half open, like when I play the drums, because I'm not thinking about what I'm doing, so... I'm probably kind of whacked out looking, but... Oh well. Just don't worry, one day I'll see if I can get a haircut, too. <laughs> All right. There we go. And here's some of the nice finished views.